Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Miscellaneous, and here we're going to simulate the glass bridge squid game using R. Now, what we want to do is simulate the average number of players needed to cross a bridge of length n. Now, the theoretical is n divided by 2 plus 1, and I hope that our simulated results would be, you know, consistent with this, and it turns out that it is. The downside is, in the process of creating this R code to simulate it, it turns out I only need one small line of code to simulate four million replications of this glass bridge squid game. One small line of code. And I thought, I can't create a video on one line of R code. So I, I didn't do it. And then it dawned on me, the process to get to where it was only one line of code might be interesting. And so that's what this video is about, going through my thought process to get down to that one line of code. Okay, so first we need to understand what needs to be simulated. And in the game, and now we're, I'm referencing the, the Squid Games movie, and it's, it's a pretty intense movie. And I, that's all I'll say about it. Um, what, what, what it is, there's a, there's a line of players at the start, and the goal is to get to the finish. But at each step, you can either step on a weak pane of glass, where you step on it and it breaks and you fall down to your death. Or you step on the side of the glass that's strong and will hold your weight. And then that A player goes until they can't anymore. And then the next player, of course, remembers where they went. And then where the, like if player one went here, then here, and they died, then player two would go here, here, and the next step is random. And they may go here, then here, and then they die. And then the third player, you know, does this, and then they guess. So how many players on average does it take to cross a bridge of length n? And this is what I wanted to simulate. My initial thought was somehow I'm going to have to create a, an, an array of two rows and n columns. And then in there I'm going to store somehow it's the weak glass or the strong glass and go from there. So that was my initial, initial thought process. Then I would simulate by player, okay? And again, we assume that memory is 100%. So if a player guesses correctly and then incorrectly, the next player, they know that this is the strong glass. They won't jump on that side and fall to their death. They jump here. Um, and then actually here, because the player, the player in front of them broke this glass and died, okay? So one note is that if there are n plus one players, then we're guaranteed that someone crosses the bridge. Because if the first n players each find a weak glass and fall to their death, then the n, for, n plus one player makes it across. Okay. So the goal initially was to track how many steps each player goes and then how many players are needed to cross the bridge. Okay, this is my initial thought process. But in R, tracking all that information, while I think pretty straightforward, would be incredibly slow because um, it's not vectorized. You're, you're tracking one piece of information and then the next and the next and then you're looping over several simulated games. It's very, very slow. And so somehow I wanted to take this and this and vectorize it somehow because vectors and matrices are fast in R. Okay, so now my goal is to vectorize this somehow. And actually going from this step to this step, there might be one or two steps in between that I went down and I'm like, this is silly, it's not going to work. So I stopped and I thought of another way and it didn't work. And then this way ended up working. Okay. So what I want to do is create a vector of size n containing zeros and ones. So it's, 
and each so first of all a one equals guessed wrong and a zero is guessed correctly so so one two three four five six if this is a bridge that has six steps or you know all we really want to know is that step one did the player guess correctly or not we actually don't need to know is it left or right or right or left we only need to know did they guess correctly so we're, we're reducing this grid the two you know two by n grid in, into an, a one by n vector right so for instance if player one guessed correctly and then guessed wrong they died now the next player automatically comes to here and they and then so on this step they either guessed correctly or guessed wrong so if they guessed wrong here then the third player comes to here guessed correctly guessed wrong then the fourth player comes through guess correctly and then they cross and then everyone behind them crosses so it took four players to cross the bridge now note that the number of players needed to cross the bridge was one plus this plus the number of ones so if we counted up the number of ones which equals you know failures or guessed wrong and then added one that's how many players it took to cross the bridge so now we're getting much much closer because each step the guess is 50 50 so we could simulate one glass bridge by randomly putting in ones and zeros here at a 50 50 rate and then we add up the ones plus one and that's how many players it took to cross the bridge on that iteration okay so each step was a is a 50 50 guess so one rep or one you know simulated glass bridge squid game would be this it's one plus the sum of and then we create a random Bernoulli it's a well or a binomial with size one we create in observations size one so we're generating ones and zeros and the ones are at a 50% at a rate and so one plus the sum of this random vector of ones and zeros actually is the number of players to cross the bridge at so that's one simulation so then we can repeat this a certain number of times we, cre we just create a loop and keep track each time but yeah and then take the average right because that's what we want to know the average number of players to cross the bridge but this approach is faster than tracking it by player but can we improve it and one way to improve this is instead of creating a loop with this why don't we create a matrix of of size you know rep or you know a, a four million and then have in columns then we can sum the column sum each row take that sum add one to it and then we have you know a million replications you know just by creating that matrix but then I thought you know what there's even a faster way right because the sum of Bernoulli's is binomial so all I need to do is create one binomial here and that's one rep okay so the sum of Bernoulli random variables is a binomial random variable so one rep of this glass bridge squid game is this so it's one plus the binomial so we want one observation size n so the outcome can be from zero to n and the probability of, of one guessing correctly is a half so this ends up being one replication so now we could loop over this but then that's where the light bulb moment came on why do we need a loop we just create so one plus this random uh, vector so we take a random binomial of reps say four million of size n which is the bridge size and probably of guessing correctly is a half then this vector 
is repeated the experiment reps times. There are four, you know, if we put four million there, then it's four million. And so we have one vector that represents the glass bridge game replicated, you know, a million times or whatever we put right here. Okay, so now to simulate the average number of players needed to, to cross bridge, to cross the bridge, is this. It's the mean of this vector. And so this is four million replications of with a bridge of size n, so let's say 10 or 12 or whatever number you put there, probability is a half, right? This is four million, four million simulated brat, uh, glass bridge squid games. Now, I hope you sort of chuckle in that I, it's one line and how could I create a video on one line of code, R code? Well, this is what I came up with. So I hope you chuckle in that I, when I, once I narrowed it down to this, I wasn't going to create a video. But let's look at the theoretical a little bit. So if X is a binomial of size N and one half, then the random variable Y is equal to X plus one. This is the number of players needed to cross the bridge. So the expected value of Y, the expected value of X plus one, which since it's a linear operator, expected value of X plus one, which is N over two plus one. And that's what it is. And the simulations that I did, the, the one line of code, it really agrees with this. The variance can be taken as, you know, the variance of y is the variance of x plus 1, and the uh, constants don't factor into variances. So it's the variance of x, which is npq, or, you know, n divided by 4. And we can also find probabilities. So the probability that y, the number of players needed to cross the bridge, is somewhere between n minus 4 and n minus 1, we can find that probability. So for instance, if n is 10, you know, the bridge size is 10, so this would be 6 and this would be 9, and to find that probability. Well, y is x plus 1, and then you, sub, um, you, you subtract 1 from both sides, and I'm already wrong here. So when you subtract 1, then this becomes 5, and this becomes minus 2, right? So it's this one line of code in R, so this is a 5, and then and this is minus 2, right? So it's the sum, and the, the D here means the density of a binomial, and we want the density of a binomial for for these values, that creates a vector of size n and one half, and then just sum them, and then that's this probability. Minus one, minus one, yeah, so n minus two and n minus five. Yep, sorry about that there. Um, well, that's it. So this is my R, one line of R code to simulate four million replications of the glass bridge squid game. Hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.